All right, y'all, so here's the end all be all, right? Do I snore in my sleep? So last night, right, I used the snoring detect feature on the Galaxy Watch 4 for the first time to put this rumor that my wife started saying that I snore in my sleep to bed. So the moment of truth is here, y'all, the results are in. Do I snore in my sleep? All right, let's see, here we go. It ain't looking good for your boy, y'all. I'm gonna turn it up, see if y'all can hear it. All right, y'all, so let's not waste no more of your time, right? Because it's the holiday season, and I know y'all got a whole bunch of stuff that y'all need to get done or whatever. But before we get started, let's go ahead and comment down below right now how many likes is on this video at the time you guys are watching. And let's go ahead and start with number 11. All right, so number 11. Did you guys know that your Galaxy Watch 4 now has the ability to be able to access your smartphone's camera and use your watch as the live camera feed like you guys are seeing right here? So in order for you guys to set this up, all you have to do is obviously make sure your Galaxy Watch 4 is connected to your smartphone then go ahead and swipe up from the bottom on your Galaxy Watch to go ahead to get to the camera app and then go ahead and tap on the icon now this is going to automatically launch the camera app on your phone and now you guys can just see the live camera feed right from your Galaxy Watch 4 or your Watch 4 Classic if that's how you get down you can also tap the screen to be able to focus on certain areas that you guys want and you can also press the shutter button on the watch to to use it as a remote shutter to be able to take photos and start video. Now, at the top of the screen, you also see this timer looking icon that if you tap on it, will give you guys time intervals of two, five, and 10 seconds. Now, this is perfect if y'all trying to get your IG selfie game up. Y'all you, you, know who y'all are. <laughs> All right, so number 10, before we get into that snoring session, and that is a must have that you guys have to get for yourself, and that is a tempered glass screen protector for your Galaxy Watch 4 or your Watch 4 Classic. Now, the one I get mine from is from the SamsungNest.com and it is super legit right let me tell y'all this story now the other day I was coming in my room and I literally hit it up against the door and I even dropped it on the concrete on the outside as well whole screen protector held up like a champ man it got, it got a small little scratch on it but nothing too crazy but it could have cracked and broke my screen if I didn't have this bad boy on there now you guys can get it over at the samsungnest.com I think it's going on sale for right now for like 19 bucks which is just crazy cheap and you get four premium ones in the pack so it's not like you just getting one you getting four for just 19 bucks man like I said it's a super dope deal head over there right now go copy one because I'm telling you right now you don't want to be one of those people out here walking around with a fly galaxy watch 4 on and then you got a huge crack in your screen i'm telling you right now knock all the cool out your walk all right so number nine this is the one right before we get into the whole snoring session and that is calculating your body composition usually in the past you would have to pay for these type of numbers and these types of results but now with your brand new galaxy watch 4 you can actually get these health measurements for a hundred percent free now in order for you guys to do this you want to go ahead and open up the health app on your Galaxy Watch 4 and then scroll down to body composition. Now to do this, you have to move your watch up on your wrist like you see right here that's going to be a little bit more fitted to your arm then you're going to take your middle finger i promise you i'm not flicking y'all off and then you're going to take your ring finger as well and you're going to put it right on the two dials on the side and this is going to provide you guys with a lot of information about yourself now you see my numbers right here i promise y'all i'm working on that <laughs> all right so number eight y'all before we get into how you can get google assistant and all that on your galaxy watch this is gestures with receiving and ignoring phone calls now let's go ahead and start with receiving and answering phone calls let's say you guys get an incoming call right and then you want to be able to answer it right but you got a bunch of stuff in your hands and all of that all you guys have to do is literally just wave your arm like this in a up and down motion and it is going to answer that call pretty simple right now let's go ahead and say you got a phone call from somebody who you don't really like you really don't rock with them so you just want to ignore that phone call but again you got a lot of stuff in your hands and you can't actually get to your phone so to do that all you guys have to do is just move your wrist like this and it's going to ignore and decline that phone call really dope feature all right y'all so number seven this is the one i know y'all been waiting for and that is no doubt do i snore in my sleep with the sleep detection now i would always say and i'm gonna take this one to the grave i do not snore regardless of what my wife say you know she 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 be hearing stuff <laughs> now in order to activate this you got to turn on snore detection on your smartphone so to find this easily go to your galaxy watch 4 and then go into the health app and go to sleep and in here it will give you guys the option to be able to turn on snoring detection and it's going to pop it up right on your phone so what's dope about this is all you have to do is just wear your watch to bed and then you'll have your smartphone plugged up and charged with the microphone facing you while you guys are asleep and it will obviously track your sleeping patterns but it will also record audio of you snoring 
if that is something that you guys do and it detects. And you guys can get into the health app on your Android device and literally it will play back the audio. Now this to me is the only way to truly find out if I really snore at night. Like I said, I'm taking it to the grave that I do not snore. We got the results right here, so let's go ahead and see what we got. Oh, snap, we got we got about 10 results in here, y'all. It ain't looking good for your boy, y'all. I'm gonna turn it up, see if y'all can hear it. See, it just sounds like the ocean to me. Oh, wait a minute. I'm, I'm gonna look at that first one like this. Like, you know, that's just, it's breathing heavy, but not really snoring. So, you know what I mean? We just gonna, we just gonna move past that one. Let's, let's, let's scroll down a little further, right around 5.30 a.m. Oh, no. Okay, okay, we, we, we can just, we can just, we can just stop that. <laughs> well, there you guys have it, man. She may call it snoring, but I just call it breathing loudly while I'm sleeping. <laughs> so number six, y'all, this is the one that I like before you guys actually install Google Assistant on your watch, and that is switching up the watch faces using an app that I personally like called Facer. It is literally, y'all, my go-to for Galaxy Watch 4 watch faces. So on your Android device, I want you to go to the Play Store and download the Facer app on your phone, as well as download it to your watch as well. Now, once you have it on your smartwatch, go ahead and press and hold on the watch face screen and switch your watch face to the Facer app. Then on your phone, go through the Facer app and just find whichever one of the ones that you guys like out there. And then there's a blue icon. Once you find it, then you just load it onto your watch and then there you guys have it. Now I'll go ahead and link a video down below where I kind of go more in depth about this, but I'm telling y'all right now, Facer is the GOAT for watch faces. So number five, and that is customizing the side buttons on your Galaxy Watch. So in order for you guys to do this, all you have to do is go to your settings, advanced features, and scroll down to customize keys. And in there, you guys can set your double press to open up a specific application. I currently have mine set to actually open up my camera app. Just keep watching because I will be changing Changing this with adding Google Assistant. So y y trust me, you don't wanna miss that coming up here soon. All right, so number four, and that is turning your watch face from having color to grayscale. Now this feature here, y'all, is gonna save you on battery health a lot. So in order to do this by just triple tapping on your home screen, to set it up, all you have to do is go into your settings, then go to accessibilities, then go to advanced settings, then tap on two finger triple tap and select grayscale then go back to your home screen triple tap on it and then watch it go from color to grayscale mode instantly activated <laughs> all right so number three for me y'all is just not relying on the whole race to wait feature but instead setting it to tap to wait because although that the race to wait you know when it works like it works great but it's like sometimes, but most of the times it's, it's good, but I need mine to be great all the time. So instead of me just going back and forth, I just tap on my screen to be able to wake it a whole lot faster. So to do this, all you have to do is go into your settings, go to display and scroll down to touch screen to wake and then toggle that on. Now, when you guys raise your wrist and the screen don't actually turn on, all you have to do now is just tap it one time and then the screen will wait and then you're good to go. All right, so the one before we actually talk about how to get Google Assistant on your watch and that is using the Galaxy Watch 4 as a remote controller. And y'all, and I'm telling you right now, this one is so clutch. Let me go ahead and show you how that's done. I gotta stand up for this one. All right, so the first thing here, let me go ahead and open up YouTube and uh, let's go to a video that is on my channel here. Uh, the one that I recommend y'all watch, which is this bad boy right here. It was the long time Apple Watch user switches to uh, the Galaxy Watch 4 for 48 hours. So I got this video up right here, right? And I got it planned. So all I have to do is I can go up to here and I can click on uh, see kid office TV, right? So I can just pop it up to the TV that's behind me right here. And now you're gonna see it's gonna start playing right up here on my TV. Now what's dope is, now that I got that plan up there, right? Now what's really dope about this is I have my watch. You guys can see it playing up here on the screen and you can hear it actually the music and everything playing. Now what's dope is I can control the volume and everything right from my watch. I can just turn it down like you guys see right here. I can also turn it back up like you guys can see. Uh, if I swipe back, then I can also go into, I can pause the video. Boom, you can see it's actually paused. And then if I wanna resume it, I can also resume it as well, which is just 
absolute fire man like ah it's just so dope but yeah y'all it's just a dope feature that you have to use it's one that i use anytime if i'm doing just stuff around like my office space here or if i'm cleaning up or anything like that and i just want to have stuff playing up on the tv that i want to watch all right y'all so the number one tips and tricks feature that you must do with your galaxy watch 4 because i know a lot of y'all are getting them right now that completes it for me and that is adding google assistant on it so that way you can do things like turn on the command center just a bunch of other stuff that you can use the Google Assistant for. Right out of the gate, guys, go ahead and click on the link that I will have for you guys down in the description section below. It's gonna take you to my Google Drive and go ahead and download the Google Assistant APK to your smartphone device. Now, don't worry about installing it just yet. Trust me, we're gonna do all of that later in this video. Once it's actually downloaded, I want you guys to go ahead and open up the Google Play Store application on your phone and then search for Easy Fire Tools and then go ahead and install that application onto your device. Then I want you guys to go ahead and open the new app that we literally just installed and you guys should be able to see Google Assistant Go under the downloads in this app. Now that we got that on our phone for now, next thing we need to do guys is go to our Galaxy Watch 4 or our Watch 4 Classic and then scroll down to settings, about watch, and then software. And then I want you guys to continuously keep tapping on software version until you see a message pop up saying developer mode turned on. Then I want you guys to go back two pages, go back two pages, and I want you guys to scroll to the new option that you're gonna see that says developer options. Then go ahead and scroll down to where you see ADB debugging and I want you guys to turn that on then go ahead and scroll down just a little bit more on that page and then I want you guys to turn on debug over Wi-Fi now this next part y'all I'm telling you it is super super important so pay close attention here just come a little closer all right so right underneath debug over Wi-Fi you guys will see an IP address or just some bunch of random numbers or whatever to some of y'all I want you guys to write those numbers down because we're gonna need them in the next steps that I'm about to show you guys all right so now that we've done that I want you guys to go back to the easy fires Two application on your smartphone and in the upper left hand corner click on the menu icon here and then i want you guys to go to settings scroll down to ip and then go ahead and put your ip number in there that i told you guys to write down or remember in that area now remember it needs to be exactly what it is on the watch without the fives now that we got that in there just go ahead and tap ok and go back to the main screen all right y'all i promise we, we, we almost done, we getting there. Now in the top right corner, you're gonna tap on the icon that looks like a plug connection. Now you might get an error the first time you do it, but just go back and do it again and it's gonna work. Now this is just gonna connect the watch to the Google Assistant via the numbers that you guys put in. Now, while it's doing that on your watch, it's gonna also show you guys, it's gonna ask you to allow debugging, just go ahead and tap okay, and then tap continue on the phone on that message that pops up as well. Now in the top right corner, there is this plug connection, it should now show green. Now, once you guys have that, go ahead and tap on Google Assistant Go from the menu, and this is where you guys are gonna go ahead and install Google Assistant onto the Fire TV application, which is why we didn't actually install it earlier. Now it's gonna go ahead and side load it to the Galaxy Watch 4 or the Watch 4 Classic. Now it's gonna take a little while, but just go ahead and let it finish. Now I promise y'all, we're about 95% done now with this process. Now the rest of it, we're done with the phone. Everything is gonna be on the watch. I want you guys to go back to your Galaxy Watch 4 and in the apps menu, you should now see the Google Assistant application. If you just tap on it, you can just use it like that. But because I personally wanna see it like act natively to the watch. So let's go ahead and set that up with a shortcut. Now, in order for you guys to use the two buttons here on the side, all you guys have to do is go to settings, advanced features and customize keys. And here you guys can just set it to the double press option of the home key like I do. And I just set that to the Google Assistant application and then boom, just like that, I can go back to my home screen, double press the top key. And then just like that, Google Assistant will launch. You got Google Assistant on your smartwatch. No more Bixby. Thank you. The watch is amazing to me. Look at it, don't you agree? The head turning 30 degrees. I'm carefree, I'm here, no biggie. Giving you all the style and grace. Change the watch face, peace the swag, I walk the slope.